Welcome to Film Crux, I'm Lionel Elton. Today we're going to give you 15 free glitch transitions for Adobe Premiere Pro and 20 free glitch sound effects. We're going to show you how to use them. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download these. You can just head over to filmcrux.com, click on free stuff, then click on free Film Crux glitch transitions volume 1, put in your email address and download them. So the next thing we're going to do is import these into Adobe Premiere Pro. So you're just going to go to wherever you downloaded them. I usually keep mine in my Premiere Pro presets folder. It's going to be called Film Crux Glitch Transitions Volume 1. You just unzip it. And then inside the folder, you'll see Glitch Transitions as one folder and Glitch Sound Effects as another folder. So then we're going to go over to Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be our project. And to import these, you're only going to need to do this once. Just click on Effects then right click on presets and go to import presets then you're going to go inside the glitch transitions folder you're going to select the transitions preset and then hit open i already have these imported so i'm just going to hit cancel so now i'm going to show you how to use these under presets you're just going to go to film crux glitch transitions volume one and click the drop down arrow and then you're going to see all the transitions here and next to each one you're going to see a recommendation so for this first transition we'll use ghost glitch a and it says five frames before three frames after so click on project then right click in your bin and you're going to go to new item and adjustment layer then just click ok and drop this adjustment layer over your clips so now what we're going to do is go back to effects we're going to go to ghost glitch a it says five frames before three frames after so we're going to go to the cut between our two clips we're going to go five frames before one two three four five we're going to shorten the beginning of the adjustment layer to that and then we're going to go back to the center and it says three frames after one two three we're just using the right arrow key and left arrow key shorten that then you just drag and drop the transition on don't play this back it's perfect now let's say we want to add a glitch sound effect to this so to do that we're just gonna go to our actual folder with the glitch transitions and we'll go to this one that says glitch sound effects and then uh, we use this one so glitch sound 11 we'll go to our project and in your bin right here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop this sound into your project, right inside your bin. Now you can just drag this underneath your clip. Let me play it back. And you can cut off any excess if you want. So the last transition I'm gonna show you is gonna be the stutter zoom. So we have these two clips. So to give them a little more impact, we'll add a stutter zoom. So same thing, we're just gonna drag the adjustment layer above the clips, and then go to effects, and go down to stutter zoom. And this one's a little different, it says six frames before to end of second clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, again, start at the center of our two clips, and then we're just gonna press the left arrow key six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then shorten our adjustment layer to that. And then we're just gonna leave it for the entirety of the second clip. And then you just drag and drop the stutter zoom on top. We'll play that back. That's pretty cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a sound effect on this also. So we'll just go back to the sound effects. We we'll use glitch sound 20. Just drag and drop it into the bin. And then we're just gonna drag and drop it underneath our clips, play it back. So if you like that video and you wanna get more stuff like this in the future, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell. We'll have a lot more things coming for you guys, a lot more free stuff. We'll see you next time.